So let's take another look at this simple switch circuit and see how we can use this animation with our students to give them better understanding of the process. Now we're going to export this as a GIF because it's a simple way for the learners to see the repetition of the movement and how it changes the circuit. So the switch being turned on, switch being turned off and how it affects things. Now to do that's really easy. Um, once you've made your animation, the same as we've shown you in previous sessions, we tap on the three dots, tap on export and choose animated GIF. Now here it gives me some options of you know frame rate and slide range etc. I need to make sure that I use the full slide range so that I have all of the animations included. Uh, frame rate, I can increase the frame rate, decrease the frame rate depending on what I want. 30 frames per second is, is fantastic what I need and I can choose the speed how fast I want it to auto advance. I don't have very many slides in mind so really it's, it's quite a simple smooth transition between each. I then just simply tap on export that's going to export that then to my camera roll so I can save that image and I'll be able to find that in my photos. So to see that back, I'm just going to very quickly tap on the plus, add a new slide and just show you if I go to plus and go to my photos in here is that GIF that I've just created. And I can play that through as a video and you can see how that animates open and closed. So there we go. I'm sure you can come up with some great ideas of how you could use GIFs through Keynote in order to educate your students around different things such as maths concepts or other science concepts as well.